Good morning, y'all. Getting the day started here at the house. Heading on out to the job. Uh, up here in Alpine, I'm kind of going to try and see if we can uh, document the drive there. <laughs> See if I can keep a connection there. Hope you guys have had, had a good weekend and uh, enjoyed your family. Here's here's where I go every day. I'm over there, and that's how I get on the freeway to head to uh, all North County jobs. This, by the way, is where the fire started, right here on this corner that actually took out the house that uh, we're going to. My client's house burnt to the ground. He'd only been in the house for like eight months. Such a drag. But uh, if you can tell from the topography, some burnt trees, um, everything uh, got torched pretty good all the way down this road and uh, some homes were saved which is really awesome but uh, my client's house was burnt to the ground nothing nothing was saved both he and the wife were at work and so they ended up uh, not being able to you know do anything they weren't there so uh, it just went up and it was gone so it's actually right up on that hill there that I'm pointing the camera at, but yeah, there you go, now it's it. So now we're coming into the Alpine, or Alpine itself, the city itself. So we're here, we are at the job. Made it safe and sound. <sighs> Gotta grab my hat. Keep my bald head from burning. <clears throat> this is the front door of the house. Coming through, so we're gonna have a nice, beautiful display right here with the project and the pool in the backyard. They were gonna put it over to the right, over here, and I talked to him and I said, you know, guys, you wanna really make this thing be a showcase, so. They moved it over here where I told them to put the pool. Much better place than uh, having it stashed over in the corner. So we've shot created the pool. Again, this is a brand new swimming pool that they're building. Got a cool Baja shelf right here. A raised spa over there. Got this wonderful view. There's the I-8 freeway again, I was mentioning, out there in the distance. And you've got Viejas Mountain right there. Awesome mountain, nice mountain to climb. And the trailhead is up over on that side. You kind of work your way up that ridge. Uh, gets to a summit about 4,000 feet, I think, somewhere around there. Our house is uh, off in the distance over those hills. And we're at about 2,700 feet above sea level almost, which is cool. Sometimes we get some snow, which is just really awesome. And uh, so <clears throat> we shot created the project. We preset all our rebar already in this thing before they shot created the pool, which you can do. You don't have to wait till it's shot created and then come back and epoxy your steel in. Would you know you can, but you can also put in that steel. And then when they shot created the pool, they just go ahead and they they did the front section right here and got that all done. Um, Going to play around with it a little bit, maybe change. And build it out so it, it changes the pitch a little bit above everything above water anyway because it won't matter underwater and that'll give us a more more natural look uh, it's half inch steel which is a pain in the butt to, to bend that stuff is big pretty thick as big as my finger and uh, so bending the stuff you definitely need to use that big long hickey bar or bender bar to get her done uh, inside they set up a bench. They blew that in. That's all just blown in. There's no rebar in there. 
and I guess that's cool to do. Uh, we have some return lines. That PVC pipe right there in the middle, that's going to be a light, actually. So they're going to set a light up, so it's going to you know aim right up towards the edge of the waterfall, which is right over, over there. So it's kind of hard to see with these pieces of rebar, but um, you've got this big boulder, as it were, that we have here. And the idea usually is to have two sort of large specimen boulders or stones that essentially are hollow on the inside, but on the outside they just look like a rock, you know. And that's the whole point, to throw, throw off the viewer. Right here I'm, I'm making a nice window so that uh, people up here on the outer edges of the project can can uh, step back a little bit so you can see it better. So they'll be decking out here, no doubt, uh, all around this area and the outside areas and some planters probably on the inverted curve of the pool. I might put a place, put a planter right there. That's a good spot usually. And uh, so there's one big boulder and then uh, there's going to be stairs right here going up to the top of the slide. So we've got our pegboard started uh, where we're putting that in. The pegboard is a backing. So when we shotcrete this thing, we shoot it, we shoot it this way. Um, we're going to put chicken wire on here also. And uh, we'll throw a few more sticks of rebar in there, probably some 45 angle ones. That just helps make things a little more rigid. Um, this gives you the space you need between, uh, you know, air and uh, the rebar. You want the rebar to get totally encased. You want that stuff locked up, filled up all around, and that cuts down on the uh, chance for rusting. It can still rust a little bit, but it cuts down the chances of it. Here's the slide trough. We got the ribbing, and we got the verticals, I guess you'd call them, um, the lengthway rebar <coughs> and uh, I'm building all that with uh, climb up here with uh, 3 8 rebar We've got a little stone here that uh, we, we I put in if you can see there's one over there as well again where there's an elevation change I like to put a stone it's just a design feature that's kind of cool um, it just uh, sort of uh, breaks up the, the lines a little bit so we've got our slide trough right here and so the top of the slide is going to be up here we zoom around and we've got again that half inch steel we've been bending around to give ourselves that re that uh, bubble boulder if you will uh, right there um, we'll walk around here got a flex pipe that's dumping out water into the grotto space and now i'm going to have a three-way jandy valve and so that'll allow the client to, to gauge down and turn down the waterfall uh, amount of water going into the uh, into the trough uh, uh, for the slide and for the waterfall start pond. Um, I'm using two jandy valves. One's going to regulate water between the slide and the waterfall, and the other one's going to regulate water to uh, the, both these features as well. So you can just turn everything down. You can move it around a little bit. You can dump some of that water down there into the grotto. That also helps get the water in there, that, that treated water, stir, stirring that around a little bit. So it's nice to be able to have that option. Uh, we pre-pour the footings to, have, to give ourselves a nice stable structure to uh, build the rest of the feature on before shockcrete day. It also lets the inspector see the depth of the footings. You can see the uh, bottom of the rebar there has a little elbow bend in it and that gives us a, a good solid footing support structure. We had uh, some of the extra concrete uh, from the pool pour. They piled it up back here so we uh, attached our rebar right into that. So that's sort of acting as a footing right there as well. <coughs> We're going to fill up the bottom section of this uh, slide area with some of the rubble around here and rocks and debris that's uh, you know just going to give us fill in the space that will cut down on the amount of thickness uh, concrete that's going to be used to create the slide trough and then from somewhere in here all going up we'll put burlap 
Um, yeah, it's probably going to be burlap because that'll be the easiest. And then that's going to fill this this whole area underneath this. And then when they shock read it, pushes through, stretches the burlap at burlap out, and then grabs the steel really, really well. And that's what we like. Uh, we like that. We like uh, the steel all covered up completely. So this rebar here, <clears throat> haven't figured out exactly how the stairs are going to go, but this is the space. Uh, it's hard to see if I'm close. That's the space right there where the stairs are going to go. So they'll be kind of going up there in that fashion. And, uh, and so kids and, kids and people will be able to climb on up and step on over and get into the slide trough and zoom. Zoom around the back. We used our pegboard on the back of the shockrete pour. And... Uh, Pegboard's kind of cool because of all the holes, you can just really easily figure out where to where to put your tie wires and such. <clears throat> um, finishing up this little video, I'll walk down in here and check out the. So, walking into the grotto space for sure, for sure, dude. So we've got our, our rebar that we stubbed up uh, for the pool chute, and then we epoxied in um, new steel right next to these guys. Might bend that over and tie it together, uh, and uh, and then you know added some more steel to then continue our shaping going on up. So we just basically build a a big rebar bubble, give ourselves. Uh, a bouldery shape right right here is where the waterfall is going to be coming off and I bring down the level uh, so that the water can't crawl back very easily so it's gonna pitch as it comes down it'll just continue to drop down into the pool so down here we got a cool little corner be able to stand in which is kind of awesome be able to hang out with your friends and this wonderful big bench will just be uh, it'll be a gas. So this is a space you'll be uh, able to hang out in. So, you know, I'm I'm six five and I can't even reach that. So it's way up there in the air. Probably put another uh, window. Maybe keep that one right there. That looks like a good space for a, another window slash vent. Um, you need to have a, <coughs> these openings so that your project can breathe. It can have uh, some venting and then some light also. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm gonna get to work here. Keep on adding in more, more rebar, making it pretty. And uh, we'll keep you posted, man. So share the video if you can and send it out there. Love getting, uh, giving a chance to folks to see what we're doing. Um, and uh, ask me questions if you have any questions about what we're doing or what I'm what we're building here just send me a send me a question a comment and let me know what's going on if you want to learn how we do this stuff more in depth you can go to davehenderson.podia.com davehenderson.podia p-o-d-i-a.com so uh, look forward to hearing your comments and questions when you get a chance and anyway have a great day so we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. Bye.